You may have seen incidents like these. Personal Mobility Devices, PMDs, and Personal Mobility Aids, PMAs, being misused on our paths. So it's not surprising to see them involved in incidents involving other path users. Despite efforts to curb the misuse of such devices through regulation and education, incidents like these have fueled concerns that our pathways are not as safe as they once were. Is this truly the case? We spoke to some Singaporeans to gather their thoughts. I feel we don't see as many PMDs as in the past, but Normally, um, they're okay, but they tend to move faster than pedestrians and tend to block roads. Do you feel that our paths are safe? I never saw any accident. That's really good. That's good news to hear. They thought they are the king and the road belongs to them. I think the current safety rules and regulations for all this is actually really good already. Like, like all those e-bikes, they're not supposed to ride on the path. They ride on the road and I think that's good already. Three metres away then, we will alert them to keep a safe distance just to prevent accidents from happening. Hello, good morning. How long you've been using this PMA for? Uh, more than 30 years. Can I ask why are you using a PMA? Oh, first thing my leg on my right is a fake one. Then my right knee, uh, the total knee replacement fear. So my walking problem is very great. Can I ask how fast you travel in your PMA? Depends on the crowd around us. Uh. If too much of crowd, then I will go down to this law, which is much slower. Uh. There's going to be a regulation set in place probably sometime next year, and the limit of a PMA is going to decrease from 10 kilometers an hour to 6 kilometers an hour. How do you feel about this as a pedestrian? Does it make you feel safer? In a way, yes, slightly safer, but still uh, the users need to be trained, okay, need to be considerate. So maybe 10 km per hour is like when you're running and then 6 km per hour is like when you're brisk walking, as you said. Uh, like I want to go to Haugang. Normally, I take uh, 45 minutes from Topayo to Haugang. Uh, so I uh, can reach there 45 minutes or one hour can reach there. No worry, but as long as safe. How will that affect you as an authentic PMA user? For me, it's okay because I'm not running very far away. As pedestrian, as we walk, we got to look out for our surrounding left and right. Everybody needs to be responsible for their own actions on the pathway. So, you know, just keep your eyes open, look left, look right, you know, keep your ears open and stop using your phones. Walking, looking at your phones, you don't even know there's a bicycle coming. As long as like they give a signal that they're approaching you, I don't think there should be any like such safety concerns. So it seems that Singaporeans are split on whether our footpaths are safe. Most Singaporeans agree that they do feel safe on our footpaths. Nevertheless, they also think more can be done to keep them safe for users. MOT and LTA have done quite a lot to keep these footpaths safe for pedestrians and other users, including the recent announcements regarding the new PMA regulations. The number of off-road accidents involving active mobility devices, bicycles, personal mobility devices, power-assisted bicycles and personal mobility aids fell by around 70% from 2019 to 2022. The number of registered PMDs has also decreased from about 12,300 at the end of 2020 to about 5,100 at the end of October last year. However, it is our shared responsibility to ensure the safety of each other on these shared footpaths and to make sure that we play our part. So, how safe do you feel on public footpaths and what more do you think can be done? Let us know below.